welcome back in this video we are going to model our first data that is the user so we're going to create a user but before that let's look at some terms here in mongoose we call something schema right so the schema gives us the blueprint of how a, a user or an object can be created so the schema implement the validation and some logic inside our model so data modeling simply means creating an instance of of an object out of an object class right so as you can see here first of all we're going to tackle the user registration so we, the user here is called the user model right so here in the in the modeling you decide the properties you need whether you need an eye or ear or arm right and then this is what you call modeling right so all the logic you want to implement are done here so let's go back to vs code and then start creating our first model all right so i'm inside my src folder here of my back end and inside the model let's create one file and call this one uppercase user because it's kind of a class that you can create an instance of user cool so now let's require mongoose we're going to use mongoose to model our data it's mongoose mongoose like that so let me name this one here mongoose let me close this one all right so now let's create our schema schema like i said schema give me the blueprint of how an object can be created out of that so let's call this one cons user schema is equal to mongoose and on that we have what is called schema and this schema takes an object with some configuration so first in our case we need first name of the user first name and this one takes an object for example if you want to have a required field to true and then the type of this is going to be a string remember is uppercase s and there is no quotation mark with that string all right, so now we have first name. It says that the only validation here is required. But if you want to send some uh, custom message to the user, let's put them put this in an array, and then we can provide our custom message to that first name, first, first name, first name is required okay so now i want to create a last name so let me copy this one and then paste it and change this one to last name and last name is supposed to be a string and change this one to last name and i also need the email of the user so copy that and paste and then change this one to email the type is string here email is required and then some password also copy that keep track of the password password and then let's change this one to password is required and the last one is an admin paste it let's check for is admin and then this time around is not um a string but instead boolean because true or false key that we want all right and then let's call this one is it required no because this is not required for me to be an admin and then let's provide a default value to be false okay so now that we have our listing next is let's provide some optional options for example the timestamp so after this let's add additional option here and provide a timestamp timestamp gonna give us when this object was created and when it was updated so you see that we don't have a date let's say the date this one was created but if we write a timestamp it gives us by default but better still we can mix if you don't want to provide a timestamp we have an api 
we can get a timestamp from the ID of this one, but I don't make it more complicated. So let's go by this. So now that we have our schema, next thing is let's compile our model into the real object. So here, comment here, let's say compile, compile schema into model, right? And there we go. Cons must be uppercase user equal to mongoose this time around is dot model. And we pass in the user here. This user will be available inside our MongoDB and to be plural to be users. And let's pass in our user schema. And that is it. The last thing is I need to export module.export user. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Eight. All right. So now that we have our this thing, our schema created. Next is we're going to create an API to register a user. So now we have finished our model. Next, we're going to be our controllers and our routes, right? So for now, in the next video, we're going to work on the controllers and then to make it happen to register our first user.